Hello friends and welcome to Wonderland. My name is Allison, the self-proclaimed priestess of Wonderland. And on this channel, you can find videos of how I manage to maintain the balance between the magical and the mundane world. In today's video, I'm sharing with you a garden update. And this is something that I had planned to be a regular segment on my channel. However, my garden was very unsuccessful last year. So I didn't really have that much to share. So in today's video, I'm going to catch you up to date on how I prepared my garden for the fall and winter seasons and what I'm doing to get ready for spring. And also sharing with you why my garden was so unsuccessful last year in hopes that uh, by making some changes, I can have a more productive garden this year. So come on friends, follow me down the rabbit hole and discover how does the Wonderland garden grow. I spent most of the end of the summer and the beginning of the fall getting the garden ready for the winter season. I took down all of my garden stakes, I weeded out all the garden beds, and also needed to transplant some things. The only thing that I've ever had success with every year has been garlic. And garlic needs to be planted at the end of summer, beginning of fall, uh, before your first frost date for your area. So I'm getting this bed ready to entirely plant with garlic. Um, now keep in mind, if you decide that you want to plant garlic in your area in the fall, uh, keep in mind that you don't harvest it until um, late spring, early summer. So you're not going to be able to plant your regular vegetables that need to be planted in spring until the garlic's ready to come out, obviously. Because garlic has always been so prosperous in my garden, it's very extra special to me. I enjoy the entire experience of it, of sitting in the earth, uh, getting the, the seeds ready, which by the way, I get my garlic seed from So True Seeds. It's a local company in Asheville, North Carolina, and I highly recommend them but you do have to get your order in quickly. Um, you can pre-order it so that they will ship it uh, when, it's, when they have it, when it's ready. Um, and I use them every year and it's always been really wonderful. One of the garlic bulbs in particular was rather large here and I can't wait to see the, the uh, plant that <laughs> it produces this year. So um, you can use like regular old garlic that you get at the grocery store um, also, but I just find that I, I enjoy supporting this company and I always have success with the ones that they uh, send me. So um, because this is usually such a fruitful time in my garden, I use planting garlic specifically for uh, manifestations. I use it to honor the goddess Hecate. I set my intentions when I'm planting the garlic seed. And uh, at the beginning of this video, you can also see I was making an offering to my dragon guardian. So I, I really consider planting a very spiritual practice. And uh, it's also just grounding and nourishing. Another thing I want to point out about this particular footage here, you'll notice that when I am planting, I'm wearing my mermaid leggings and that means that it, the moon was in a water sign. The best times to plant are when the moon are, is in a water sign. So that would be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio and the next best would be an earth sign taurus capricorn or virgo and the last would be fire or air because if you think about it you don't really want to add the fire element to <laughs> 
do your seeds and you don't want to add air because that'll dry it out. My next project is transplanting some yarrow plants. Um, I had a few yarrow plants to start off with, but then they continuously reseeded and created more plants and created more plants, but they were all kind of like in this little cluster. And so I just kind of dug a few of them up, spread everything out along this section of my herb garden here to allow them more space to breathe and more room to grow. I know this sounds silly, but when I'm transplanting, I reassure the plants that I am moving them to a new, bigger, better home. And it's kind of interesting when we watch the video sped up like this, you do kind of see this shift of the, <laughs> the plants kind of like drooping a little bit and they're like, oh no, sad and scared. So I just try to talk to them while I'm transplanting and reassure them that I'm, I'm doing this for their own good. <laughs> The next project that I needed to work on is that I'm slowly but surely edging my garden with recycled bottles and uh, my husband and I both don't drink as much as we used to anymore so I'm kind of slowing down on this edging process and as you can see here I've got mostly hot sauce bottles <laughs> that I've, that I've uh, begun edging this corner here that is still unfinished and I've still got quite a ways to go so um, I've got to get drinking out of some glass bottles. So now that I've gotten all of my projects taken care of, uh, transplanted everything, uh, planted the garlic seeds, I'm now just going to water everything and then mulch over the top of it. Um, garlic really likes to be uh, mulched over the winter. It helps insulate and it also retains moisture. Um, so it's really kind of a nice idea to mulch over any of your garden beds. And now we're ready for winter. In my area, it actually kind of started off really cold, but then for the most part, we had a very mild winter. So here you see me all bundled up, uh, decorating for Christmas, and then eventually it warmed up and I was back in t-shirts and tank tops for the rest of the winter. I went out to a public place that actually wasn't the grocery store for the first time since the pandemic. I bought some Smurf plant friends for my indoor plant, published the 2023 Just a Phase Moon Planner. Back outside, I finally transplanted a rosemary bush that I've been putting off for a really long time. I wanted to put it in place of this random bush that I've had, in, I'm assuming was, has been in my yard since this house was built. And it supposedly was not supposed to have a taproot, but this thing was freaking ginormous. It took all day for me to get it out. And now I hope that the rosemary bush is happy where it is. It gets so much more sun now, so I'll keep you posted how this transplant ended up going. So in my area, spring is here, whether we are ready for it or not. We have not yet approached the spring equinox, but we have had the warmest weather, almost summertime weather. So all the trees are blooming the daffodils are coming up so spring is here whether we want it to be or not so as we make our way out to the garden here you'll notice that the garlic is doing pretty well um, this is a pretty normal size for it to be this time of year and then within the next few months it's going to like really shoot out um, however as we make our way to the other side You'll notice that like there, there isn't really any garlic on this side. There's some like tiny puny ones, but um, something is obviously wrong with my soil. I d had squash planted here last year and while the plant survived and flowered, it never actually fruited. So 
I knew that this year I was going to need to test my soil and see what amendments or nutrients I needed to add in. This was my first time ever testing soil and I have to admit it was a lot of fun and as you can see my cat helped me out with this process as well. So basically you collect soil from your garden and you add water to it, shake it up, there's a specific soil to water ratio and uh, you shake it up and you let it sit for a while and then you take the liquid and fill it into this container and then you add these little capsules that dissolve in the water and basically they have dye in it that will change color if there's a particular nutrient present. So this test kit tested for nitrogen, potash, phosphorus, and then it also tested the pH levels as well. Um, basically, we came to the conclusion that my garden soil was totally depleted of nutrients, didn't have any, any of those particular nutrients at all. I did three test jars because, uh, specifically because of the garlic only growing in half of the garden bed, um, and I have three different garden beds, so I assumed that the levels were going to be different, but because everything was so depleted, I like didn't need to do three test kits, I guess. Um, because, I mean, I was just assuming that maybe just half of the garden was depleted, but it turned out that all of it was. So obviously we are having a lot of fun <laughs> doing this uh, soil test thing. Um, you had to shake it for a minute straight. So I set a timer and that's, <laughs> that's what we're doing here is shaking. The cats were so fascinated with uh, the soil. I don't know if it was just like the smells from outside, but um, I gave them like their own little box of soil to dig around in and they had tons of fun. So, so since everything came out totally depleted, I purchased a liquid fertilizer online and I am going to add that. You simply uh, take a couple ounces, mix it with a gallon of water and uh, spread it into your garden. So I'm going to do that and then test it again and see if we've brought the, the soil back up to a decent uh, level to plant in the spring. Meanwhile, I have started some seeds indoors and hopefully they are going to do good. I've got them in a safe space away from the cats because last year, I don't know if you remember, if you saw my garden videos last year, they totally destroyed the poor little seedlings. So they're in a safe place and hopefully uh, I will have another new update for you in time to plant for spring. So this brings you up to date on my garden journey. Uh, this is the first time that I have been in a, a place for a, an extended period of time. I've mostly done container gardening in apartments. And so this is the first time I've ever had land to grow. And so this is just a learning experience. Nothing in this video is intended to be educational. Uh, I'm a very trial and error kind of person. So I'm just sharing my journey, my experience. If something looks like it might work for you and you wanna try it out, that's great, but do not hold me accountable because my mother has a green thumb, I do not. Uh, so this is just my best attempt to connect to nature and to do my best to grow an edible garden. I will keep you updated on how my garden grows throughout the season. And if you are interested in following this journey, make sure that you hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel so that you are notified when I upload these videos sporadically throughout the year. 